Hello and welcome to Floor Plan Generation Tutorial 1.2. In this tutorial we will cover these key areas. Incorporate your roof plan into existing floor plan. Custom truss configuration from the floor plan. Generate the floor plan. Let's get started. For this demonstration I have drawn a basic 6 meter by 6 meter floor plan with some interior walls. I will draw the truss layout and configure some of the trusses according to location and load points. For example, I will configure an end truss for the two ends of the structure, taking into account gable and studs. I will also configure some of the other standard trusses. I will cover some of the key feature as I go along. Please pay attention. Click on the roof tool set icon. Then click on the number 1 trace tool icon. You will be presented with a pop-up properties window. Note, the height property is the height the truss will be placed at when generated. The height value is defaulted to the value of the wall height in the wall module. You can change this by changing the default wall height using the wall tool set and setting your default wall settings. The property, height from trace allows you to set the height relative to the height the trace position. Click OK to add the truss layout to the floor plan. Note, you can use the shortcut key J on your keyboard to swap the drawing offset either to the left, right or center. I have now added a gable roof truss trace onto the floor plan. I will now edit this truss's properties. I will enable the following properties. Custom Diagonal Configuration. This will allow me to specify the exact points the diagonals should be placed. My intention is to align the diagonals with stud frame configuration. The second property I will change is the end truss mode. This will change the truss web configuration to vertical profiles only. This is ideal for trusses that will sit at the end or beginning of a typical structure. Click on the truss insert tool set to specify the panel points for the truss. As you can see, I am specifying points that are aligned to the wall stud configuration. Please pay attention. This will all make sense when we generate the floor plan in the end. I am now inserting the rest of the truss layout into the floor plan. I will go ahead and edit the configuration for the relevant trusses. Wonderful! Thank you for being patient. We will now generate the truss layout as well the floor plan. Note, if you make changes to generated trusses, it will automatically update the layout plan. I will first generate the wall frames from the floor plan. Click on the wall tool set icon and click on the icon process of floor plan. It has the number 2 on it. Great! 
Our walls have generated perfectly. We will now generate the trusses. Click on the roof tool set icon and click on the process truss plan icon. Well, there you have it. It does not get more easier than that. As you can see each of the trusses can be custom configured in the floor plan. Note, you will follow the design specification from the engineer in charge when designing your truss configuration. This concludes this tutorial. But before you go, I have something to get off my mind. My husband said to me that the spark between us had gone. So I tasered him. I'll ask him again when he wakes up. I might need to recharge my taser just to make sure there is enough sparks. I am telling you this in the hope I made the right decision. The decision being. Setting the voltage to 50,000 watts, instead of 500. Pray for us. Take care and be sure to look out for the next tutorial. Goodbye.